I'm Brent, and I want to say thank you for pledging for the deluxe vinyl and diorama playset of Sequence One Glass Jar on our Kickstarter. Without you and the support you provided to this project, we would not have been able to make all of this happen. Now that you have your record and the playset, let's take a look at putting the diorama together. Before we begin, you should have a page of assembly instructions that came with your vinyl. If not, you can download a PDF of the instructions from the web page where you're watching this video. Once you make sure you have that, let's get started. First, let's build the Aquester and his sonic lathe. Step one, take the Aquester and slide him into his stand. Step two, take the four clear pieces and slide the smaller ones into the sides of the larger ones to create the stand for the sonic lathe. Be sure that you get the knobby side pointed the same direction on both pieces. Step three, take the sonic lathe platform and place it on the base from step two. Step four, slide the two sonic cannon pieces onto the cannons on the platform. Step five, slide the six red discs onto the sonic cannons, three on each side, in descending order from largest first to smallest last. With most of these, you just don't want to use a ton of force. Just kind of wiggle things a little bit. They should go right on. Be sure and push them all the way back so they snug up against the back bar of the sonic cannon so you get the right spacing on them. Step 6A, attach the rack module sides to the module front. Repeat for each of the three sets. A couple of things to note with these to make them extra cool. Make sure that uh, you have these flipped the right direction so the cool Moog logo it reads correctly once they're built. Also, when putting the sides on, the thin part is the top. So they just connect and slide down. You just snap in, slide down. Step 6B. Attach the top of the rack module. Repeat for each of the three sets. So that's just this small piece here. It goes over the top and slides back. Step 7A. Attach the sides of the keyboard stand to the middle support. Step 7B. Attach the keyboard controller to the top of the stand. Be sure you put it on with the keys facing this direction so that when it goes onto the platform, the Aquester can control the sonic waves. Step 8. Attach the three rack modules and the keyboard controller to the sonic lathe platform. This is the toughest part because you've got so many pieces going together. Your Aquester and sonic lathe are complete. We're ready to mine some ice. And we're ready to build the ziggurat. Step one, take the temple back and slide the two larger ramp sides into it and then the two smaller outer supports. So the larger ones, go in the center slots. The smaller ones go in the outer slot. Step two, slide the temple front into the ramp sides and the outer supports. We're going to slide it into each of these four pieces. And then this is gonna take a little playing with. And the reason for that is they're notched. So once they go together, they stay together. Step three, Attach the longer stair piece to the bottom of the ramp. So this one works best if you bring it up from beneath and the shorter stair piece to the top of the ramp. Step four, attach the four spikes along the front of the temple. And they just go in the last open slots of the piece and your ziggurat is complete. So now your play set is fully assembled. It's time to put the record on and let the adventures begin. I hope you have as much fun playing with the diorama as we did designing it. Carl and I would like to thank Walt Watts for his incredible art, Steve Sims for designing the printed assembly instructions, Steve and Hardman Signs for producing all the diorama materials, and of course you for believing in this project. Can't thank you enough. 
This is Brent, signing off from Ice Planet 9000.